All right, guys, I got to leak some more. There's oil all over the front of this engine leaking. I think it's maybe the VTEC solenoid, cam seal here, or distributor ring there. I'm about 99% sure it is the VTEC solenoid because the oil is on that left side right there pulling mm -hmm. up. And I doubt that the other areas can jump oil that far, hopefully. So we'll be right back. All right, things to have. Socket set, 10 millimeter, of course. That's what you need, an extension would be good. Brake cleaner, clean out the oil before you put the surfaces back together. Of course, the gaskets, some gloves. Um, torque wrench, nine pounds of torque, I believe. Uh, don't want to over torque it, you will break the bolt and you will be very unhappy. Shop towels uh, underneath. I have actually a piece of cardboard to help relieve some of the things, and this should be it. I heard sometimes getting sandpaper to help clean off the surfaces before putting on the new gaskets is a plus. Might need a pick too. Uh, I'll see if I have to pull this out without a pick, but uh, let's get this guy off right now and then go from there. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the plug on the top VTEC solenoid. And then I'm removing the other plug that's attached to the lower portion of the solenoid. Using my trusty Moto X sockets and the always use 10 millimeter sockets we're going to remove the three bolts that are in this solenoid on the bottom end the top will we remove after we remove the whole unit all right let's show up close of the three bolts i have removed two of them the third one you can't see on the left side of the green plug but it's visible at your angle you can't miss it take your time removing this unit i still have the bolt over there on the left so i don't want to fall down in the place of no return all right i'm starting to wipe down the area and i'm checking in the gaskets gaskets look, the gasket itself looks pretty good but i am going to replace it anyways now i'm going to get to the top bolts of the vtex solenoid Take it easy right here. From what I read, things can pop off and you can lose pieces. So go very, very slow. While I was loosening the top three bolts, I just noticed that they were super loose, literally almost finger loose. So this is where I think the leak is actually coming from. You can see the large amount of oil that released from removing that top part. I have a feeling, again, this is where the leak is coming from. There's a lot of pressure coming out of that spot. But I'm going to go ahead and change the gasket anyways, since I have no idea how old is it. As I suspected, I needed to use a pick. Be careful using the pick. You don't want to mar anything when removing the rubber gasket. I'm using brake cleaner to remove all the oil out. I'm checking the surfaces to make sure it's nice and even before I start to sand it. Since I got the VTEC solenoid off, I'm able to see the cam seal a lot better. And as you can see, they really put a lot of RTV in it to make sure it won't leak. I didn't see any noticeable leaks there. So I think hopefully we're good to go on that one. I didn't have to sand anything. It looks like the surfaces are pretty even. There weren't any materials, debris or glue that was sticking anywhere on the edges. So I decided just to put on the gasket and I like to put a little clear, clean coat of fresh oil on it just to have a little better sealing effect. Adding the top part of the solenoid takes a little bit of pressure. So FYI, you're gonna have to use two hands and a bolt and some patience to get it lined up. And it's not too hard, but just take it easy when you're connecting everything. And I'm speeding up everything just for time sakes. The other gasket's going in right now, and there's only one way of doing it, so you can't get these things backwards. And again, I'm doing another fresh coat of oil for better sealing. I'm bolting everything back up. After I'm done bolting everything, I'm gonna go through all six bolts 
use a torque wrench and get to nine pounds of torque on it. You don't want to over torque it because the bolts will snap and you will have a bad day. After that, don't forget to reconnect the two connectors. Then I'm going to go for a test drive and make sure everything is running and not leaking. And I'm also going to check the VTEC is engaging. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and share the video. And here we go, final test. So far, a couple of VTEC runs and driving around has shown no oil leaks in the front. So I did find the part. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Peace out.